Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, eLearning Arena. I'm your host, Process Engineer Sayed Vakas Heather. In today's video, I'm uh, going to give a tutorial on uh, sizing a pump using a, a very useful software, and that is Pipe Flow Professional. So let's start. First of all, uh, you can select the units of your choice from here you can customize the units uh, the way you like and then uh, you can go to the fluid zone from by clicking this symbol and create a new fluid zone and then uh, you will you would select the table from here and these are the list of uh, number of fluids available in the software is uh, this software has a lot of fluids available in its database you can select select any one of them uh, or according to your uh, calculation needs so i am going to select water for this example case so i have entered the water and the available fluids uh, tab i get the water now after selecting the water, I have to input the uh, conditions and for this example case, I am entering 80 degree Fahrenheit and 25 PSIG. So I have entered, I have completed the fluid zone, this, this, these are the properties of my fluid zone. The water is, uh, the fluid is water, state is liquid and these are its uh, uh, properties. After that, you would select the specification, the pipe specification. You would click, click the new and from these available uh, installed pipe examples, you can select any one of them. I'm going to select, select an SS pipe of 40 schedule. And you can enter a design criteria uh, from here as well. Uh, if you if you are not going to enter it this is not requirement but you can select and these are the design limits you can if you want you can enter the limits of velocity pressure and Reynolds number at the moment I'm not entering it this is an example case so the basic uh, the basic things are all set now I am going to select the sizing pump from left side panel and I am I have clicked the tank so it is a very simple case and now pipe I have uh, connected the pipe So this is a very simple example case. This is the pump that uh, we are uh, uh, going to size. This is our target, and these are the two tanks. The pump, uh, the pump has to suck the fluid from this tank and discharge it to the uh, tank number two. So these are our requirements. Now I have to input the specifications of these uh, equipments let's go to the tank one as i click the tank one and here are its uh, property grid i am naming the first tank as reservoir let's assume that it is at zero fit elevation it is at ground level the section pressure uh, I am assuming that it is an atmospheric tank, so surface pressure would be 0 PSIG. Liquid, liquid level, I am going to select a 5 fit. Now fluid zone, I have uh, created the fluid zone uh, already and I, uh, now I am go uh, going to select the fluid zone. And, and we know that the fluid zone in this case uh, is water, I have selected it and then 
I can specify the geometry of this tank. You can select any one of uh, them, spherical, rectangular, cylindrical, horizontal or cylindrical, vertical, according to your needs. And I have selected the rectangular. Now I have to enter its dimensions. I'm giving an arbitrary dimensions because this is an example case. But when you are sizing an actual uh, case, you have to input the correct dimensions according to your case. All the data has been input and now from symbol settings, I can change the symbol. These are available symbols, you can select according to your need. And as I have input the all data, it has turned to black. When the color is turned to the black, it means that the required uh, data is, uh, has been entered successfully. Now I'm going to pipe one. I have selected the pipe one. The fluid zone would be again, uh, in our case, for water and specification. Now I have to enter the length and I am going to select a 10 feet length for this specific case. I have to enter the size. Uh, you can select a suitable size from here or you can size by clicking uh, these three dot tab. You can size the pipe. You, can, you, uh, you would enter a design flow rate. Let's say the design flow rate uh, would be 8 GPM. So it would uh, give the calculated size. So for 8 GPM design flow rate, the calculated size is 1.25 inch. Or you can enter, uh, the, uh, enter the size of your own choice. This is, this is up to you. Now by clicking the K valves and fittings, I, I can enter the valves and fit, fit, uh, fittings that this pipe has. Uh, I am entering the data for pipe one. So let's assume that uh, this, this pipe has uh, two ball valves and a one globe valve and for fittings I am selecting elbow standard 45 degree so these are the fittings that I have selected the value it calculated for K is 1.61 uh, according to the uh, fitting that I have entered. And that's all set for Pi 1. Now it is blue one. Uh, as long uh, as I entered the all, all the specifications of Pi 1, it, is, it has turned to black. So it means that all the data is set. Now I'm going to pipe 2. Fluid zone again specification again length I have to enter the length S size similarly you can select the size or you can uh, go for uh, a calculated size enter the design flow rate and the software would calculate the appropriate size for this pipe you can select this as well or you can choose the size of your own choice this is up to you again fittings again I am adding a glow valve in it and two ball valves and as I remind you that this is an example case, so I am keeping it very simple. You can add uh, according to your specific case. So pipe two data is all set. Now I'm going to tank two. I'm naming the tank two as overhead. 
tank. This is the tank that is our product tank. The pump has to discharge uh, the fluid in this tank. Let's assume that it is located at a height of 10 feet. The surface pressure, I am again is assuming that it is atmospheric tank, so surface pressure would be zero PSIG. The liquid devil, again, I am selecting it's five feet. Fluid zone would be the water. Again, I can enter the uh, geometry of this tank. So let's assume, let's assume that it is a cylindrical vertical tank or you can, you can select the top head geometry at the moment it is selected as flat. You can select spherical, conical or ellipsoidal. You can select any one of them. I'm entering the dimensions. I can change the symbol from here. For this tank, I am going to select this symbol. Now all the data is set. For the size sizing of pump, the I am selecting that the section elevation is three feet. The discharge would be also the same height. And for operation, you can select any one of them uh, as the operation mode on the basis of this operation mode the software would size the pump you can select the flow rate discharge pressure suction pressure or temperature con control so I, I am going for flow mode and uh, for this specific case I am uh, entering that the flow rate would be along around 8 GPM so all the data is set all values, all equipment uh, values are black. It means that all uh, all the specifications has been entered. Now I, I would select the calculation mode here, and from here you can see that the calculation is complete. And by clicking any component, you can see uh, in the property property grid in uh, the sizing results. For example, I have clicked the pump and I can see the results from here. This is the flow rate, discharge pressure, suction pressure, NPSHA, total head, etc. And by going to the pipe, I would also, uh, I can see the pipe results. So you can uh, print, the pro, uh, print the report by selecting the file, go to the print and select the list report. So this is, this is the final report. Uh, of the whole process, whole case, you can print it out and all the necessary uh, design values are available in this report. You can see the fluid, zone, fluid zone, pump and pipes and then at the end tanks. All the necessary inputs are available. So this is how you uh, size a pump using pipe flow, uh, pipe flow software. So I hope that you uh, you like this tutorial, and this would be I hope that it it was it was a useful uh, tutorial. If you like it, please uh, subscribe my channel and share it. Thank you.